but we bought a storage unit on an online auction yesterday. But here we are. Let's see what it is. Ooh, the amount of jewelry that's in this box. 14 karat gold. Yeah, that's a score. Whoa. Whoa. Come ups. Oh God. Sorry, that just kind of slipped. It's like creepy handprints on it. Yeah, I saw that. Like baby handprints put upside down, right? Yeah. 100 percent really weird like someone was trying to crawl their way out of here that's what it looked like Ooh, brand new redskins tailgate cooler bag Rolling Stone. brand new elkhart indiana let's see what it is whoa whoa you gotta check this out what what is it it's a flute it's a freaking is it silver yeah I won't lie in this world, man, you need school. What you saw is what you reap. The price of even making it, you know it's not cheap. Never mind the lights, you can sacrifice sleep. Put your best out there, see results in a week. Preach. I don't think they know. Love for you. Check, check. Checking to see that it's true. Is that your song? No, nah, it's from The Simpsons. But yeah, it's a real song. You about to get these furs? You're about to get these first. Mink. Mm. Test it out, see. Good, how about you? Great. Cool. I just got bit by the creepiest yellow bug. Oh boy, I hope it wasn't one of the killer wasps. Hey, you been saying? Not Where's fine. your hubby at inside? Hey, what's up, brother? How are you, dude? Great, man. You don't got your blueberry hat on today. It's not too hot, right? Not bad today. I think it's, it's cool. You guys want a locker? Yeah, we got one. We just cleaned out a big one. Hi. 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 Who's that looks like Sammy over there with that little eye? Yeah. Did you get a big one? You got four of them. We got a small one, but he said there's some mink furs in there, so hopefully it's good. All right. Yeah, we'll see you over there, though. All right. Wait for me, wait for me. Oh, I didn't know. I thought you were in a dog there. I was. Alright. Where is this? We're in here. We got our unit. We ended up paying 140 for it, 142, 28. He's going in deep in here. Oh, it's inside. That's not bad though. He doesn't know where it is. But there's a little more. I thought I was going to get the unit for 100, but once you guys see what's in here. How much was it? Once you guys see what's in here, you'll see why. Because it's a mystery, but there's two things I think they'll pay for the unit and then some. I don't know if he even knows where it is. All right, what's up, guys? Here we are. Welcome to another beautiful day in paradise. As you can see, the sun is shining, but we bought a storage unit on an online auction yesterday. Ended up paying 142 28 for the unit, and we're gonna go check it out, see what we find. We got our trailer today for the trash, and the bed of the truck, which I accidentally left a whole bunch of recycling in, but my fault. And here it is in this little little spot here, I guess. We're gonna just check it out, see what we found. Um, there's a lot more stuff in it. We actually already got it open because the guy opened it for us. A lot more stuff in it than we thought. It's actually like deep, it goes deep. But here we are. Let's see what it is. Big dog unit. So originally, I snagged up this unit. This looks pretty good. I snagged up this unit because I thought that this was a real fur in the picture. Turns out it's not, but it still has the tag on it. It was 60 bucks. So, a bunch of nice woman's clothes. Well, that's a lie. What is that? That's some men's clothes. Either way, we're gonna get into it, so. 
Let's see what we find today. I'm excited. Me too. All right, here we are. Sammy's propping the door open. And there is a possibility at one point that we might switch over to a head camera, a head mount, because I don't know if anyone's ever tried to pick and film. A lot of other YouTubers obviously have, but it's not an easy task, and we are sorry sometimes when, you know, it can get a little bit shaky on camera. So here it is, first piece of clothing coming out. Looks like it's wool. Not really sure. Um, yeah. Some women's golf clubs. Those sell. Per those will probably sell pretty easy. That's it. I'm just looking at them just as junk. So those are probably 25 bucks just without looking at looking into them at all. If there's any specific ones in there that are more collectible, it could be more money. Looks like we got a whole shelf of stuff here. Some knickknacks and candle holders. It's a little desk here. So yeah, we're just gonna get into this. Really, I wanted to, oh, I see some, some NFL branded uh, suitcase up there. This might just be trash. Yeah. That one's not very good. Should I get, well, Yeah, we got the light. Bunch of purses, they look almost new. We got a little snowman thing. A lamp. I know what too we're gonna do with some of this stuff. It's kind of like a donation. But our friend, Ed, he lives in Summers Point where we live, but he's from Haiti originally, although he hasn't lived there in like 14 or 18 years, I can't remember. But what he does is, I'm gonna wait for the plane to pass. All right, what I was gonna say, my, our friend Ed, he puts shipping containers together. He'll put a car in it or a box truck he wants to do next, and he'll fill the box truck with merchandise ship it over to Haiti and then he sells the truck to sell the truck again he probably makes back what he spent and then everything inside of the truck is stuff that he sells and ends up in Haiti but that's what we'll do with, we'll do with some of this this stuff that's not really that sellable yeah and then we'll definitely throw out some of it the craziest collection of bugs in here like what is that Maybe what we should do is put like the furniture and bigger stuff in that we're gonna try to sell again in the front of the trailer and then the actual trash on the back and then we'll dump. dump it, push it off and then go back to the house with the other stuff. Yeah. That's part of the AC unit. I can't put it out here right, or right next to it. All right. Your women's clubs, huh? Yeah. All right, so we got a head mount. Head mount slash this light. This is cute for like outside of your house. Oh uh, wow. Yeah, I just totally blew my idea. I was gonna put the blanket down first. <coughs> Dust light. This is a sellable piece here. Not for much, but. It's an old desk. It's kind of creepy, but I definitely think someone will be into redoing this. There was something that it's went a little up. wobbly though, huh? Not too bad. And here's the other desk. But you know what, that white piece goes on top of this, I think. This is legit a school desk. There's nothing. Oh yeah, because the pencil goes here. Legit. You might be able to use that for your, like, laptop. If I paint it, 
That's not bad. Or is that weird? No, you want like a legit desk, I don't desk, think right? it'll fit over me, though. No, I mean, yeah, I could easily. This is like this desk that we had when I was in school, though, at the Colt school. That's not bad. It's made out of like that wood that you see it. There they are. They're so gnarly. They're so heavy. They have all that stuff in their car now. And they got four more units here. No. Yes, so but they're straight up gnarly. Hmm. So I would consider it to the trash pile. These like brand new purses. Ooh, dude, the amount of jewelry that's in this box. I don't know. Dude, this is a Halloweeny. And then this is just a box of gold. Oh my god, this is actually like flagstone. Let's check this. I have no idea if it's actually gold, but. Like costume, That's some come ups right there. I'll put it up here. It's going to break our bank, right? Fossil. 14 karat gold. This is legit gold in here. So, yeah. I don't know if this is a fact, but this, this box is here. $49, this thing, or 50 this box here could have paid for the whole unit, probably did. I mean, even just that little bit of gold right there. Oh, because it's real leather. Isn't a crazy amount, but any of this stuff could be gold. Look at these old pieces. Yeah, that thing's... And that was a discount. Obviously, this stuff is worked because it's been sitting in here, but... What? Look at this ring watch. That's what I'm saying, though. You never know until you start looking it up what it's worth. Deoids. I would just put this jewelry collection in the truck under the seat for now. Well, this thing's trash, but it's all wrapped together. Good sign that there could be some really, really good stuff in the unit because a lot of times when people come back and take stuff, they would probably take the jewelry even if they didn't know if it was worth anything. Or they knew exactly what they had, and that's just all trash. There's like creepy handprints on there. Yeah, I saw that. Like baby handprints put upside down, right? Yeah, 100%. Really weird. Like someone was trying to crawl their way out of here. That's what it looked like, straight up. Yeah. That's the top piece of this. My idea was to post this up for pretty cheap just now and then just leave it in the trailer and hopefully it sells in the next couple days oh yeah this, like just put honestly, it up this for this is a nice piece for somebody to repeat just put it up for like 20 or whatever 25 yeah. and just hopefully it sells quick because it's cheap that's my plan because i don't want to store this because like storing this is more of a burden than it's worth Whoa. They were storing it in here for years, so obviously they loved it. Warped in the back, that's why. Let's see. Let's put this in. Let's see is what it is. Should we get through this? Mm hmm. Should put a mask on it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would. What do we got? I really wanted to keep that, but like not the picture, not the picture, just throw it in there. I, I want the picture, I mean, not the frame. actual frame. This is cool. That's cool. Maybe. Tool, little drill. So That's cool. not a good brand, but maybe five bucks. These are broken. I was going to say these are cool. Oh, they're not broken. Oh, those are super sick. Those are cool. What is that, trash? Uh, yeah, I'm just like brain fart because I'm hungry. Trash, trash, trash. Trash. This kind of goes with it. I don't know. This is pretty cool. You get on the bottom of like a shelf. I'm not really into those though. Trash. 
Little jewel. jewelry box. Done. Milk jug. Kind of cool. This is something we could probably use. I mean, I used two of them already. Cooked. So far, this is our trash pile here. Just open up these just in case. Nothing. That's a nice helmet. Good thing we went deep in this one. Yeah, that's a score. Check this out. Whoa. That's it right there. I would just get rid of the cloth. It's creepy. Put that. Let it air out, right? Yeah. No, yeah, this is nice, dude. This is a woman's helmet, probably, but. Whoa. Come ups. Harley Davidson. What is it? Let's see. What's in there? Dude, what's in here? Oh, I thought it was a pair of shoes. Got some hair for you guys. This is cool though. I like these things. I oh, know so you do. $16 for this. That's crazy. This is actually cool. This goes with that other Oh, it's Cypress, which is a good scent. What's in here though? There might be. Oh. Grandma's pearls though. And this little baby boy here. You never know what this stuff could be. These are going in with the jewelry. This is a Lennox thing. Yeah. Not that that's really that great. These are like... Trash. Trash. Like Trash. This whole thing's cocked, right? Ugh, nasty hair. Little pen knife. See any of this though? Like this could be gold. Oh, that's decent. Damn, coming up though, honestly, dude. I'm stoking about this. Any of these little the medallions uh, are worth keeping until we look at them deeper. I mean, honestly, all this change is kind of worth keeping, but it's hard to even pick it all up. These are plastic beads. That's it, right? All right, so this camera's really good in low lighting. Wow. Like, it really, really good. Look at this. Like I can see better looking through the camera than I can way better ahead of me. Trash. We could drop box this stuff maybe. I mean I don't want those clothes aren't looking like very easily to sell. Mm. Ed, maybe though. He doesn't do clothes anymore. He took clothes the other day. <laughs> Fierce purses. This one looks like it could be something cool. What's this brand? You're thinking it looks like a... No, it looks like something of quality. That's what I'm claiming. Or there's something in it. Maybe that's why I'm feeling this way. Hmm. No. Ew. Dude, <laughs> I need gloves. <laughs> no way. That's blood, dude. Is it? Yeah. I mean, it's dried blood for like six years. It's like that could affect me. Why is it like that, bro? I can't believe you just stopped. Ugh. That's a Betsy Johnson? Yeah. That's nice. It's always cool to see old ones because they're like... They make so many of them, too. It's she sometimes doesn't make just... the same ones, do you know what I mean? It's like hard to find it, probably. Yeah. I mean, Betsy Johnson isn't like that nice. Nah, but it's that like but quirky, it's, cool. It's cool. She makes really interesting stuff. I'm stoked about that. Arizona State. 
That might be not worth a lot, but that's a $10 shirt. This stuff was packed on here, that dude. And like, unmoved for a while. This, this one's just, that's just trash, but I don't know what's in here. This candle's not one I would use. This book, nothing. This owl, though, it's pretty cool. Let's hope for something good in here. What's in here? Open those up. Peace on Earth, that's cool though. Not great, but it's cool. It it's just empty, but there's another box right there that might have something. Nothing. Just pulled this thing out of there. It's from Home Goods, but made in Italy. It's like a dessert dish. Brand new. This is definitely solid though. That's cool. Or just, I mean, gift life I don't know sellable though you're right all right so this is the unit I think it's only five by ten but whoever placed this stuff in here did it extremely well can't even see in there but it's all it's there's a lot there is a lot these shelves alone are probably Gonna fetch a decent amount each. All purses. All new purses. This is just bizarre. This is insane. I don't understand what the point of it is. These are just like ceramics. I think these are all part of a set. Yeah, 12. What? It's unused, it looks like. Lampshade, it's torn. That'll be trash. I don't know what this is. Like moss, fake moss. Weird. It's cool though, I have used it before. It's just a little weird to have. Purse. Another purse, it looks like it, it's like rotting away in here. Hat box. Doesn't feel like there's a hat in it, but there could be. No hat. Well, I kind of like this lantern, it's kind of cool. That's not bad, right? Super sick, super sick. I mean, we could just work on getting everything out here. The fact that I decided to wear sweatpants. I mean, I always wear long pants in these situations. It's just, I, I mean, it's not that hot, but. All right, we got this copper pot. I don't know if it's old or not. That seahorse thing was $15 originally. These are both pretty cool. Cool enough to keep, I think for selling. This says Farm Formalities by Baum Brothers. Blue quilt collection. That might be keepable. I might look that up. I'm not sure. Are you going deep? Yeah. Those are kind of brutes. Brutes. These are like home good stuff, right? Let me just look at that's moldy a little bit. I don't know, these are done, I think, in my book. Cocked, right? Maybe solid. Dude. Yeah, maybe solid. They're supposed to look like that. Obviously, if they clean them off, this is trash. I don't even know what that is. Goodie box out, right, guys and gals? This is a goodie box. These fake books are always good. Yeah, not this time. That's actually real leather, though. 
silver plated heart frame. That's from like the 80s. But yeah. Maybe not, maybe not. Pier one. Our local Pier One is going out of business though. I don't know about you guys. Made in Italy. That's got a look to it, but it's cracked. I know oh, it's not. That's just how it was made. It's pretty cool. I could see this in like an Italian restaurant though. This might be kind of legit though. These are from like Kohl's. Yeah, those are junk. Junky junk, right? Here's this boy though. Oh, here it is. The top to this. And the top to this. We got some kind of calculator. I'm going to search that before I do anything with it. This is like party supplies. Flags and stuff. Bird cage back there. That could sell pretty easily. And we got a monkey. It's not Crow's monkey. But it's a monkey. That's a cool monkey though. Reminds me of like some Mardi Gras style monkey. Then we got this hanging plate. Cheaply made metal thing. That's probably trash. Or scrap. Then we got, this shelf is almost done. Let me just, I'm gonna set this camera right here for a second. I know it's probably not good lighting. But I'm gonna bring down these two, these everything off this shelf, actually. All right, this is the stuff I just brought down off that shelf. To me, that's useless. This stuff, this basket's cool, but other than that, I don't know. And this, I was trying to figure out what these are. They go on top here like a. Like a terrarium setup kind of thing. That's actually really cool. I like that. But I don't know if it has any value. Old flashlight. Lots of glassware. We be jamming. Lots of trash actually mixed in. Which is fine. This is cool. 1980 Avon. That's probably keepable. Anything in here? Yeah. Really cool ring. This is broken. This is kind of cool. Blue one goes with another one. And maybe, I don't know what that is, That's but maybe, maybe this goes with it too. The shelves, these are nice glowing metal shelves. Mm -hmm. These will probably fetch anywhere from like 40 to $40 each probably, I think. This might be big enough pot to actually be worth keeping. This is magnetic. I don't know. This is all home good stuff. That's the problem. It's not antiques or anything like that. Halloween costumes. Halloweeny. This is a not a good sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. How's this? Oh yeah, Redskins. That's a come up. They're changing the name, so. Could definitely. That's a key. That. There's a suitcase. I thought this purse was cool. Get it out of here. Fifty-eight dollars. Get it out of here. That's what he claims. Just saying. Get it out of here before it's too late, boys. <laughs> All right, this ring said 25 bucks. Looks like it's probably sterling. That's a pretty cool one. This is the maybe pile here. 
so far. And then, I'm not really sure what that is. Some kind of a mat. Oh, you know what it is? Yeah, it goes on the shelf. That was like a separator thing. Those are like forked. All right, we got another one of these. Or like two or three of them. And then this is a, what I would call a decent, I guess the top's not attached. Decent little bird cage. Sellable. And then this, whatever this thing is. Yeah, it's probably trash. This thing is not coming home. This thing's cooked. Let's see what's in here. All close. Oh, no. All like new clothes. This is savage. I have to drop box these. I mean, some of them might be worth money on them. They all seem like different drops. What is this? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It's like a tray that goes in here. I mean, it's gross. Super gross. <laughs> Sonoma. Lucky Lotus. I don't know about these. I don't understand these. How are you feeling about this wardrobe hutch? You think it's good stuff? No, no. No, no. Oh god. Sorry, that just kind of slipped. I saw that. Or did it throw itself? Yeah. That was actually probably worth bank that doll too. Okay. Porcelain doll like that. Chopped its head off. That was really savage of you. So savage. Nah, had to be done. Over it though. I've had porcelain dolls that look way nicer than that one. Impossible to sell, but on a first thought, it was good. Is it cats? Mm -mm. What is the scale on top of? I mean, this isn't that terrible. We forgot a tripod, we're just using this bird cage. Okay. All right, this is what I'm doing. This is my technique. Woo! Perfected over the years. Be careful, honey. Brand new. Brand new. Redskins tailgate cooler bag. Wow. Can't get these anymore. Nope. Not with that logo on them anyway. Yeah. And then what else do we have a big, uh, this is not, maybe not a big come up, but check this out. <laughs> it's like a crazy amount of like beads. To like one person that's using stuff like this, we could oh, probably yeah, sell them. Cool. You yeah, know what I mean? Oh, what? Dude, didn't see this as a big jewelry unit, but mm -mm. it totally is. Dude, wow, this box is precious. Froggies. Those are cool, but 
foggy would like this. A buggy. I mean, we could take five. All right. We could clean up and take this stuff to the dump. I thought it was just for show. She said, there's something in here. Oh, they packed it full of other garbage. <laughs> oh, there's a I thought this. A cool box. Yeah. I know somebody was getting this for Christmas. It's Harris. This is cool. It's ruined, but it's cool. Assault. Anyone? I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely weird, but I opened this card and there's a Mother's Day scratch off in here and a free appetizer to Longhorn Steakhouse, which is expired. There was also an uncashed $30 check, which obviously is not cashable. Dream catcher. And then if we scratch this, what if we won $5,000? Clearly we wouldn't catch it anyway, but. This? No, you can't cash the check. That's wild. That's so crazy. But if it was a $30 in there, there's no reason not to keep it. That's true. Okay, we're back at the unit. We got rid of mostly all the stuff we were planning on throwing out. And I'm going to put the two metal shelves in here and then fill the rest with the <laughs> remaining boxes of stuff. And then we're gonna head back to the house and I'll do some sorting there, probably more trash, and then just see what, what we got for selling. Check this out. The Rolling Still Stones, the brand new. Wait a second. Show your switch's battery out. That's a claim though. Holy shit. Big dog pumpkin. Big dog pumpkin head. Not a pumpkin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is falling off there. This is like a really setup though. It's kind of nice. Two V six. For what? It's funny. You're a purr, but this lady is cats. Who's a cat lady? Mm -hmm. Masterful cassette tape collection here. Meatloaf. Hmm. Mm, not the greatest, but some of them are cool. Alright, the sky got really gray. That's cool. This is like one of the coolest ones I've seen. And it said made in China. Could, but, but some stuff made in China back in the day was was good quality. So this is the second half, and I would say just off offhand, but most of this stuff is trash. Okay, yeah, that's what I was getting at. I think that we're gonna make our money on just jewelry off this unit, and probably not anything very expensive but costume jewelry and maybe just ebay ebay costume jewelry lots or watch lots whatever but this is pretty wild and there's another one there's another one of those under here it's like it's a real, bracelet it's so cool but some of the other jewelry in the first one w was real, though. Some of it. Not sure the extent of it, but. I mean. Watch lots. Just put them up on auction and let people decide. This is pretty cool, though. It's like a King Ruru. Stuff like this though, maybe flea market, but probably just trash.
I was like, what is this? Some crazy unicorn, seahorse, seahorse thing. Seahorses for days, though, were this theme in that. Seahorses and whisper groups. That was cool. Point in time. Let's get that in here. That's sterling silver, it looks like. It is, but where is. Damn, this was nice. It had Oop on it, too. It's probably part of it in there. I think I gotta find it. Because this is like. Oh, it looks like a lot of sterling in there. Yeah, you can tell by the way it's like. Sorry. These are freaking weird. Like, definitely not good wax to be melting. Not to be breathing in, right? This is it. This shelf here. These are a lot of sterling, right? I mean, these ones just caught my eye because these are actually cool. Where is it? Just this one. Definitely. The way it's wearing and tearing, it looks like Starlight. Yeah, it's well, it's marked too, but. Here, hold this for a sec. Do you really see what I see? Here's the TK life. Uh, bed buggies? Very big bed buggy. Bed. Dead buggy. I call them. Yeah, but. Um, How do you want to get it? Just lean it down, right? Can you get half? Huh? Do you have it? I have it, but you don't. I don't. No. This is nice, actually. Steppy buggy. So I'm gonna try and get all the way up. Perfect. Made in the USA. All right, that's a wrap. Bad buggy. Bad buggy? Is that gonna fall out? What? This? No way. No way. It's solid wood. Made in the USA. It was made in the USA. It would never fall out. Claims. You're forgetting your claims. <laughs> These, yeah, but I can put them in after. Can you go through these? I'm gonna throw out everything. <laughs> That's it. Watch out. Well, maybe I can just take pictures of the empty unit. I don't know if he has to come here or not. He probably has to come look at it, but. That was so much stuff they fit in there. Just in that little unit. <laughs> Alright, that's a wrap. So, we're gonna go get our deposit money back.
because you put 100 down on a deposit, sometimes it's 200 if it's a huge unit, and then you go back and tell them that you're done, and they give you your money back. If you don't clean it out, you don't get your money back. But a lot of trash today in the unit. I will say more trash than expected, but at the same time, we got a lot of decent stuff. Jewelry, mostly jewelry, and then like a few pieces of nice furniture we could sell easily. We already have one sold. We just gotta meet the lady. Our friends Rick and Shirley bought four units here today, so wish them luck on cleaning them out. They go hard, they kill it. So but hard. she messaged me now and said, great to see you too. They're awesome. We should have gotten more footage of them, but we were in the zone. All right, we're back at the house, obviously. And see, as you can see, this is all dirty, but the print itself looks to be in fine condition. This is a Thomas Kincaid Bridge of Faith. Probably needs to be reframed. I still think it's probably worth around 50 bucks because people have them up online for 200 more even. It needs to be cleaned off, obviously, or reframed. But I'm gonna go in here, show you guys. So we got the golf clubs, showed that already. This is like cheapy ornaments. It'd be trash straight up. Candle holders, I guess. Garfield comics, those are funny. What's in here? Looks like a little tea set. That could be sellable. I would say the rest of this looks some buttons. Look beat beat street. And then there is, I believe. A couple. Containers that we did not look in. I opened this one just now. And there's a clock. Which I don't know. There's not much value in that specifically. This was $43 originally. It's still in the box. I think we didn't look in here. Cheapy little candle holder. Power for little candle holder shade thing. That's definitely trash. Plates, cheap plates. The ceramics, like the brick, that's actually really nice clay. Let's see, so you never know what's mixed in with the junk. Oh wow. That's cool. That's nice. That was 28 bucks. Definitely probably worth 28 bucks. That's cool. Hopefully this is more clay. Handmade stuff. Nope. Junk. That's, to me that's trash. I'm not interested in that little power cord. That's nothing. Glass pot. So that was not bad looking in there we walked away with these two clay pieces i like those those are nice really nice these are the VHS, the um, cassettes here's another piece here this is a jewelry organizer some of these they were only a dollar but they're actually kind of cool Another one of these. Sammy liked the other one. So maybe we'll keep these. I mean, it was $35. Which is crazy. And then... Wood footstool is kind of cool. To be honest, this might be worth something. Probably not. But people collect very interesting things. These would be worth opening up. 
kind of going through because they had really good stuff mixed in. Christmas. Those are just candle holders. These wreaths are straight trash. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so, yeah, didn't really score huge on this unit, but it's really, if you break everything down and sell it, it's hard to lose money on these kind of units. I mean, I think we could triple what we put into it pretty easily. And you never know, there could always be that one really big score waiting around the next turn. I'm still gonna sift through this stuff more so that I know guaranteed that I didn't miss anything. But yeah, successful day. Thank you guys for watching. Here's another container that I opened just to see if I saw anything real quick. That is a cool pill, but it's ruined. That's done, done. Maybe. Scrap. What is this? Woodwinds Peddler. Elkhart, Indiana. Let's see what it is. Whoa. Whoa. What is this? Is this a clarinet? Dude, this could use some, wow, this could use some definite research. Won't be hard to find, I'm sure. That was overlooked. Candle holders, I might do a lot of the candle holders because there's so many. Silver plated. This is a birdhouse. Maybe not. Is it? Looks like it might be. I might just do like... This is gonna... This is gonna require some... Some deeper research. This might be worth money, I don't know. That's probably an eBay piece. You gotta check this out. What is it? Alright. Pop pop. Check Look it. at this. Pop pop, what is it? Where's the chicken nugget? What? What is it? It's a flute. It's a freaking, is it silver? Yeah, fully. It is. Dude, the devil went down to Georgia. The devil went down to Georgia. And got smoked by a silver flute playing. Dude. Like all the babies came to see. <laughs> they came to come outside. That's a big come up, dude. Wow. I don't know what it is yet, but that's insane. All right, once again, we're uncovering items that we missed. So you gotta really go into this stuff. It's like, what is this? That's like gotta be old. This one looks like, oh, that's weird. It's like potpourri. Silver plated, $8.99 at Boscob's in like 94. This is the top to something. These are old though. This one is like vintage, vintage stuff. Crystal. Not really into the crystal so much, but depending on what it is, I could get excited about it. That one's that one's got to be trash. That one's done. Salt and pepper shaker. That one. It's nothing. Nothing. Now that's pretty cool. QVC. Okay. 
DC Express, 1991. That's pretty funny. Avon Crystal. All right, we're getting into it again. Never know what could be in one of these. Dreamcatcher tile. Let's see, that's cool. Some kind of Rolodex thing. nothing all right I think we're in there this one I didn't go through yet I'm gonna do a lot of research probably before I even put this video out but if anyone knows what that actually is it's a clarinet I guess is it silver or brass I don't know plated silver but I wanted to say thank you all so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to our YouTube channel I haven't really been saying this really often but because I always forget about it but if you subscribe to our channel then there's also a post notification button. So if you do enjoy our videos and you want to get notified when a new one drops, please go to our main page, go to where it says subscribe and right next to it, there's a little bell. Hit the bell, please hit the bell. Also, you know, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, always gonna be making more. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Keep pushing everyone. Whew, it's human at. Gonna go wrap this up and go inside and take a shower so check it out it's almost seven at night so the end to another beautiful day okay i know i ended the video yesterday but i've been doing some sorting and i wanted to give you guys an update on what is going on with the unit so far so this is the next day after we bought it i found this Federal Express necklace and charm that is both 14 karat gold I thought that was really awesome I think that don't quote me on this that they would have given this to an employee of Federal Express for like a Christmas bonus or something of that sort I'm not sure if that's true but so far one gold piece out of this box this is marked 14 karat gold but I don't know for sure if it is all this jewelry still has to be sorted through most of its junk jewelry but that's fine. These right here are some sort of, I think, club, like some Mason. It, they're not Mason cufflinks, but they're something similar to that, I think. So those might be worth a few bucks. Junk jewelry lots always do good on, I'm taking this inside because I like this necklace. I think it's really cool. When I first saw it, I was pretty sure it was gold. And then I unwound it. it. Took me like 15 minutes to get it out of it. We also have four unsorted boxes of various jewelry. Probably a lot of it's trash. But if I found one more thing like this, it's worth sorting through. So we have that. Collection of beer mugs. I think I'm gonna ask 20 bucks for those on Facebook. Should be able to get it what's left in the trailer earlier this morning we sold both of the metal racks to a guy and he put one on top of his car he couldn't get it taken apart he took one apart put one on top of his car I'll show you that footage right now it's pretty funny he was a cool dude to put it on the top of the car yeah I bring it all the way from Barnegat It's gonna go on top of the car, right? It's looking good. It's perfect, right? Bought both these racks off of us. He's putting one on top because he couldn't get it apart. That's how you gotta do it. Sanford and Son. And he's off. He's going to turn around for us to give it a good look. 
But yeah, so he wanted to buy the two shells, couldn't get one apart, so he put it on top of his car. My kind of guy. You. And we also have sold the white desk. So, so far we're back to another $10 and we have paid off what we put into the unit. So everything else from here on is going to be profit almost. Uh, so this necklace, the silver flute, the beer mugs, all the stuff I was talking about is gonna be profit. And yeah, I think we did want, uh, did well on this one. I'm happy about it, really happy about it. And it was fun to go through the items. It's like a modern day treasure hunt. So one more thing and then the video will be over. I wanna show you what Sammy's been working on. What's up guys and gals? All right, so I've been doing these um, tie-dye and bleach dye crew neck hoodies. Um, these are the dark brown ones. Just finished stitching this one up. So there's three of these ones up on my big cartel. So it's Sammy, it's www.sammyj.bigcartel. I'm gonna put it right here. Um, but there's three of these and they're size 3XL. So this is a 3XL and there's a picture of me in this one or one of them but it's a 3XL on the actual website so you see how it kind of like is oversized on me. And then so there's three of those ones. This one I still have to post. This is actually a champion hoodie. This one has a hood. It's a size 2XL. Yeah, USA 2XL. So this one's a little bit more subtle. Pretty cool. I still have to, I'm gonna post that literally when I'm done doing this. And then this one's up here, up there too. I only have one of these ones. This one's a large. And then, did I even put the red one on there? Yeah, the red one's on there too. This one is a size 4XL and I'm doing all uh, oversized sweatshirts like they're all gonna be in the XLs except for maybe one that's an XL but that one's not even done yet so if you're in between like a large and a 3XL they're perfect and honestly this is a 4XL but I, I would wear this too so and this is the green one. Nobody bought this one yet. That is my favorite one. This one came out really cool. Um, when I went to go get the hoodies, they I wanted to get a bunch of white ones because the black tie-dye comes out really cool on them, but they didn't have any. Um, so that's why I ended up going with black because that's like one of the only colors that they had a massive amount of and that weren't just smalls. So this one's a medium. So if you're a small or an extra small, or medium. This one's a decent size. This one's a little bit thicker than the other ones. So go check them out um, if you want one or if you're interested in just seeing what they look like. And yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Is this gonna be on the video from yesterday or my video? Yesterday. Alright, yeah. And I will be posting a video on my YouTube channel on Bambi Cat. So stay tuned for that on how I actually like do them, where I got the sweatshirts from, and the whole process, so.